Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tall and welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. And in our series covering all dinosaurs from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom today, we're covering the amazing Allosaurus. So make sure, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below your favorite dinosaur and let's get right into the ferocious Allosaurus. Here comes the Allosaurus. This is hands down one of the most popular carnivores that exists. And this is our first Jurassic carnivore that we're covering on this series. The name Allosaurus means different lizard. So let's jump right into what this different lizard is all about. So living alongside dinosaurs like the Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and even the Ceratosaurus, the Allosaurus lived in the Jurassic period of the Mesozoic era. That was about 150 million-ish years ago. This thing was the lion of the Jurassic era. It was king of the jungle, or more like Western North America where it existed, with a bunch of other cool dinosaurs. So they claim it's a different lizard, eh? Why don't we find out what this different lizard looked like? So let's get the size and weight out of the way first. So the Allosaurus could have reached lengths between 28 to 40-ish feet, and it could have weighed anywhere from 3,000 to 8,000 pounds. As far as design, the Allosaurus was built kind of the most standard of theropod dinosaurs, which it was. It was a theropod bipedal carnivore. It had two nice-sized arms that it could have used for grasping or scratching things. It is important to note those hands could not have been faced downwards. They were always kind of in like a grasping stance. And it would have been used for anything from combat to scratching to itching its little allosaurus face. It had sharp teeth, but paleontologists have found out that its bite force was not that strong. So there are theories of it being able to use its head as kind of like a hammer, but we'll get into that later in the diet and behavior. Besides that, its head had two kind of crests or horns right over the eyes. Paleontologists believe this could have been used for anything from sexual display, maturity displays, displays all around if it wanted just a fashion show of allosaurus-like stuff, to keep its head shaded, or maybe even used for combat. All we know is that they varied between size and shape from allosaurus to allosaurus. So why do we all know allosaurus? Allosaurus so well. Well, this is one of the OG dinosaurs. This dinosaur was discovered during the Bone Wars, which was a really prominent time for dinosaur and prehistoric animal discovery. Besides that, the Allosaurus has been featured and starred in countless dinosaur documentaries, dinosaur shows, dinosaur movies. Most notably, this dinosaur got its kind of feature-length documentary film made about it when the BBC released Walking with Dinosaurs, The Ballad of Big Al. That's where most of you are probably familiar with the Allosaurus watching today. I definitely grew up watching that thing. I had it on cassette tape, and I probably watched it a billion times. This documentary spanned the lifetime of an Allosaurus called Big Al. It showed it from an adolescent age growing up all the way to maturity to when it died from a foot infection. As well, this dinosaur has been closely tied in with the Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World series franchise. And we first got to finally see it on film with the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom where all of you might have fallen in love with it once again. It's a really cool dinosaur, but it was really sad seeing it get hit by a meteoric volcanic asteroid meteor. Uh, yeah. So let's figure out the diet and behavior of this amazing animal. The Allosaurus probably had a complicated life. Being the top predator of the Jurassic period in the Western North America means that you have a lot of responsibilities on your hand when it comes to choosing, hunting prey, and protecting your family slash other Allosauruses. This thing was an apex predator, which meant it had to fight a lot of stuff. And it's safe to say that the Allosaurus probably hunted the largest prey it could. It probably even hunted down giant sauropods like the Diplodocus, which lived in the same area. And maybe even had to fight the Stegosaurus from time to time. I'm not sure if it would have won that fight though. So back to what we mentioned earlier, the Allosaurus was actually studied to have a really weak bite force for its size. So it probably had to be kind of creative when hunting down its prey. Theories have come up of the Allosaurus potentially using his head as kind of an axe, slamming down the top of its jaw onto different prey to kind of bleed him out slowly. This theory definitely has some controversy behind it. It is not accepted 100%. And there are other theories just claiming that the Allosaurus might have bitten off chunks of flesh or taken big bites and gashes out of its prey while hunting to bleed them out and slowly consume them later if they died from an infection or just from bleeding out. Whatever the case, this dinosaur definitely did not have a chill, laid back lifestyle. Then again, which dinosaur did? Maybe just the Brachiosaurus. They were chill. Yeah. Okay, done. Oh yeah, we're done. Oh, done, cool. Done? Oh, we're done. Oh, okay. The Allosaurus. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have finished the Allosaurus. That's your quick dive. My dino freaks, that was a fun little episode. Allosaurus is easy to cover. Not a lot of controversies about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one because I know I enjoyed seeing the Allosaurus on the big screen in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, even though it didn't have the biggest part 
It was still fun to see it run around and cause trouble. If you did enjoy this, make sure you leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up, comment down below a dinosaur that you would like to see in the future, and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new dinosaur videos that we put out, because we're covering all the dinosaurs from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So if you want to learn more about your favorite dinosaurs, you got to make sure you subscribe. Also, if you like this channel and you want to support it, you can send us a donation on PayPal. The link will be in the description, and we will see you guys in our next dinosaur episode when we cover the huge Apatosaurus. I'll see you then. Well, goodbye.